Welcome to Primor Vista and a first look at a brand new model for Freedom Express from Coachman. This is a 2024 258 BHS and this is sort of the replacement for the previous 257 BHS and it blends some elements of a model, the 287, that's been very popular for a number of years. So we're going to start on the outside here. We're going to take you up front. We do have a standard power jack, so easy on and off that vehicle of choice. And you've got a great light coming right down onto uh, the tongue area here. So if you're using a backup camera, it makes it a little bit easier to see what you're doing. We've got two standard propane tanks. We've got room for multiple batteries here. We've got a standard now battery cutoff switch. And the little ye yellow antenna that you'll see there will be the relay for your TPS sensors. So each wheel will have its own sensor. Uh, you've got a little screen that can go in the vehicle and you can plug it in when you want to use it. Be able to check those uh, levels of air pressure as you drive. Make sure that uh, you're not seeing drops in pressure. Uh, so you'll know if it's time to uh, check those tires. We've got a nice high stone guard here, but a three quarter length front cap here with two LED lights facing exactly where you want them, right forward. And then a massive windshield that just brings a ton of light into your front bedroom there. So certainly on a day like today, if you just want to relax at the end of the day, perhaps read a book, perhaps if you did add a secondary television in the bedroom, lay back and watch something, you've got a ton of natural light there. Something Freedom Express has always been known for is huge compartments. You've got a massive front compartment here well lit from one side to the other with our LED rope light. You've got a great uh, table here. So it's one that's meant to be used outside, could be left outside in the rain, no issues. It's got a dedicated spot there. We do have a griddle that's uh, just tucked away back there on the other side as well. Uh, that'll integrate just as we get past the outside compartment door. You're gonna see a spot here where uh, the shelf that can basically be removed. Great little one for breakfast, put your eggs and bacon on as you're cooking in your griddle just right next door. And then our awning will basically start from that griddle location right past the back door covering uh, the remainder of our outside kitchen here. So we've got a nice extension on our, our kitchen. So our LED light strip is on here, as you can see, lights it up nicely from one end to the other, so you don't need any additional lights. You've got a couple of outside speakers here, so we've got entertainment built in. <clears throat> we do also have a out for cable or satellite as well as for power, so should you wish to set up a television here, you can. We've got brand new alloy wheels here, so it's going to cut down on your maintenance. Look really great with the new graphics package here on the outside. And then you've got your Lippert Steady Step, so each step, or each set of steps will have individual feet here that we can adjust so that we can make sure that they're nice and level as we're coming in. And then we've also got the fold away lend a hand so you've got something to grab onto especially if you've got young kids you're going to appreciate that. You've got a spot here to tie off the dog as well as open up your favorite beverage should it need it. And then we've got the redesigned exterior kitchen. I love the coating they're now putting on here. So you've got a solid steel coating to the outside so it feels like a heavy heavy duty uh, mechanics toolbox here and you've got great built-in storage so you can keep all the spices all the rubs all the items you're going to want to use getting that barbecue prepped for a delicious meal and we've got our little fridge here great for the fridge for the drinks and extra snacks for the kids allows them to be able to get stuff themselves behind that door you will have one bunk window and then above a secondary one so both will open You'll have screens for them as well, so each bunk has great ventilation, so you don't always have to use the onboard air conditioning unit. We've got easy access to the roof with our roof ladder, we've optioned in here. Standard now for all the 2024 frames is a Lippert frame. You now have a Lippert bracket that is ready for a hitch, so it is something we are going to carry in stock. So should you wish to add that rear 2x2 two two inch hitch, it'll be something that will be bolt-on accessible for you, and we'll aim to have that in stock for you. Love the fact that they've included an extra bunk window here in the back for that top bunk. And you'll find in that main living area, it's going to increase that uh, that light, but also that ventilation. So wonderful, again, to get as much fresh air through the coach as you can. We are pre-wired here on the back as well for a backup camera. All LED taillights, so nice and bright at night so everybody can see you as you go to slow down to get into the campground. We've got four very large full-size jacks. So once they're down, very nice and stable. All our hookups are right in the back corner here where you'd want them. We are standard with 30 amp service here. Uh, black and gray connections are all right here for sewer. We do have outside shower with hot and cold water. You're gonna have a black tank flush that's gonna allow us to clean our sensors when we're hooked up to sewer on site. We can flush that clean water right through our black tank and really clean out those sensors. Should you have your city water connection on site, you can hook up there, and then cable and satellite as well. You'll see the depth of the slide out here. We've got a nice three and a half foot depth here with windows that will open on all three sides. So again, tremendous ventilation on all of the Freedom Express slides, something they're known for. Great tint to them as well. So it's really gonna help to cut down on additional heat coming into the coach. 
And as we come back around, we've got an emergency exit window here in the bedroom. And then we've got our city water fill just on the back side, uh, so that if you didn't want to carry that water. Uh, Weight-wise, we are going to come in at 6,100 pounds. And body length here, just under 26 feet. And tip to tail length, under 30 feet. So 29 feet, 6 inches. So it is going to fit some of those tighter uh, state parks, especially in the United States or national parks. Uh, so it's a really wonderful family coach that blends the difference between some of the smaller coaches and small, some of the bigger ones out there. Definitely one where if you're finding yours is a little tight, I could see the 258 BHS being a wonderful option to upsize to. We welcome you down to Premore Center to come have a closer look at this brand new 24 258 BHS.